can't give a name, sorry. She moved back with her parents after the baby was born. I followed her. Like a stalker. I don't think she knew it was me. I had my hood up and had a bit of a beard back then. Her wall was just high enough for me to hide behind. And I sat and watched as she went into the house. Her mother was standing at the window, holding my baby. She never went to greet my baby once. Not even a kiss on the cheek or even to say hello. She just sat down and read her magazine. And then a young man appeared. He kissed her on the cheek and he moved towards the window. He was going for my baby. He kissed my baby. He kissed my fucking baby. Do you understand? My beautiful baby. Please don't ever question what I can and what I can't call that girl again. Who are you? I'd seen a rehearsed reading of A Face That Fits at the Archies and I absolutely loved the script um, and the story jumped out at me straight away. It's very, very philosophical, um, it's very real and there's a lot of lovely messages in there about, you know, about embracing life and just, just taking chances and making the best of what you have. It's actually the first time I'm going to be involved with the, the Edinburgh Festival, so that in itself is exciting. The rehearsals, I would say, have been relaxed, but I always come in with, with a focus. And the way I like to work, being an actor as well, I like actors to have room to create and to answer a lot of questions themselves. Yeah, I think it's a lot of reflection. There's a lot of sort of thinking about, well, would he really do that? And was he really like that? And I think we started off with some assumptions about the characters and we've tried to fill in the gaps. I think we've let go some of our assumptions uh, and we're a bit clearer about the reality of the character. You're trying to build the character with what you know about the character, but at the same time, you're finding out about the character. So you're always shifting. Uh, the, what the writer's given is, is something that's deep and also something that's dark in the character. I'm new to acting, really new to acting. Well, I've been doing this maybe just for over a year. Uh, this is by far the biggest thing I've ever done. It's the biggest script. The rehearsals have been really good. The feedback from, from our director has been consistent and level and encouraging. So it's been a good experience. Do I look like someone who has achieved, young man? The way I dress, the way I act. Do I look like someone who's achieved something? Here I am. Standing before you, am I the mark of someone who has reached their full potential? Someone who's lived life to the full? Someone who has never passed up an opportunity that's gone begging? Do I look like a man to you? Well, what gave me the idea was uh, I was on a train from Edinburgh to Glasgow, and this guy just said, you know, see when you're off the phone, can I, can I draw you? And um, I was a little bit startled, but I was also very interested, so he sat across from me and started drawing me. It really kind of stuck with me, and it was something I really wanted to kind of mould into a, into a piece. I was at the first rehearsal, and I was amazed. You know, it was great watching it because I was watching things that I I didn't expect. Mark has brought the, the energy that the character of the boy requires and at the same time Vincent is bringing that stillness and so it's got that dynamic. Hopefully the audience can take away that not to sit on your laurels, not to sit back and just to have a dream. One thing everyone can have is a dream. When I was very little my mum started a children's theatre company and I went there from the ages of 6 to 18 and I just got the bug for it. 
I think the Fringe will give me that opportunity just to be doing what I love to do. First reading the script, you know, I was very frustrated with the character. I almost wanted to scream and say, you know, get a grip of yourself, young man, you know. The more I read it, the more similarities I found in myself. He's very lost, and I know what that's been like to be lost as well at times, you know. And I've just connected with him on an emotional level, and I think that's what's so great about playing this kind of part, that I can relate to it so much. It's been fantastic, such a great group of people. They are also new to the Fringe. It's their debut play. It's a very, very good piece of, of theatre. And um, I've just had a blast so far.